Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to kick off round 3 of Group B matches. And we could have some crackers here, because we will see Team Europe going up against Shadow Force, Slifer Sky Dragon going up against Lousp, and Dino Nerd taking on Kit Green. So without further ado, let's get on with the first match. And I feel like this is definitely a good chance. A good chance for Shadow Force to book their place in the last 32. Alrighty then, in the red corner for Team Europe, we have a Polar Canvas. Uh, we definitely have seen what that mole attack can do. Sick boy! <laughs> but it's going to be tough, because in the blue corner, we have an Alpha Rajasaurus. And we've definitely seen what this beast can do. Lots of damage in that Magma Blaster. Firebomb, a very attacking moveset here. And it's paid off for Shadow Force. Just a reminder, a win for Shadow Force here will guarantee their place in the last 32. And he will also be the first combatant to make it. Well, to guarantee their place. But that's only with a win. Ooh. A good start from the Polar Canvas. A crit right off the bat. And some attack boost as well. Oop, that's a tie. Oop, that's another tie. Ooh, the Rajasaurus getting off a hit. And it's a net crusher tie. Decent amount of damage dealt there. And an even start so far. Ooh, another net crusher. Shadow Force coming back strong. Ooh, Magma Blaster will finish off the Polar Campus and give Shadow Force a 1 0 lead. And it's going to be tough for T Team Europe now, because up next we have Super Lillian Sternus. This Lillian Sternus will be at a tight disadvantage against that Rajasaurus, so it's a good chance here for Shadow Force to tighten their grip on this match. Oh, that's a tie. But the tie attack will help Lillian Sturness take away some of that Rajasaurus's HP. Ooh, another tie. And a consecutive tie attack wears out and takes out the Rajasaurus. Up next for, up next for Shadow Force, we have a Baryonyx. Again, like the Alpha Rajasaurus, an attack-minded moveset here, but it's definitely worked for Shadow Force thus far. Remember, a win... No, I, I don't need to remind people. <laughs> but Team Europe have definitely pulled this back. And avoided a tricky matchup there with that Rajasaurus. Ooh, another tie. I can't, it's like four ties. No, why is it no Sonic Blast? Wow, how many times is this? Like, it's, it'll suit the Lillian Cernus down to the ground. Ooh, it'll suit it even more with those tacky Jaras coming in for Tiebreaker. But, Aqua Vortex has been triggered, and that could be just what Shadow Force needs to break Lillian Cernus' tie strategy. Ooh, he's not getting a hit. Instead, the Lillian Cernus is getting a hit. And it's Awakening Time. Team Europe have definitely stolen this match's momentum. Ooh, but the Baryonyx gets a crucial hit, denying Lillian Sternus that chance. So I feel like Shadow Force might have just stolen this momentum back. Maybe not. Oh, come on! <laughs> That's ridiculous. Ooh, 
Despite a valiant effort from Super Lily and Sternus, it is going to be the Baryonyx that takes it out. So Shadow Force will still retain their lead, but Team Europe definitely putting up a fight. Alright, as for Team Europe's third and final dino, we have a Satyosaurus. This dino could be key because it will have the type advantage over Shadow Force's third dino, if they get there. I mean, that's the big if, if it gets there. And well, a bonus point win will pretty much, well, it will get, well, even a win will guarantee it for Shadow Force, but bonus point win will make absolute certain. But a bonus point win is not what Shadow Force is going to get. And both of our combatants are down to their final dinos. As for Shadow Force's third dino, we have a Gigas. This beast could win it for him despite being at the tight disadvantage. And again, look at all that power. I feel like despite being at a tight disadvantage, I think it could be even this. Ooh, a hit from Gigas. But look at that, very little damage dealt. Team Europe will take that all day long. But that bar is going to fill up, so... That's why I feel like Shadow Force can win this match. Ooh, a burning dash coming from Gigas, but again... With a tight disadvantage, this will not be lethal. Ooh. Ooh. Could, has this Hydro Cutter changed the match? Could this be a game changer? Ooh. A tie Bomb as well. And all of a sudden, things, they were looking up for Shadow Force, but now he's in a bit of trouble. Oh, but Shadow Force, by the skin of his teeth, has just snatched the match away from Team Europe. <laughs> the bar fill up and a bit of poison for overkill. But yeah, definitely a valiant effort by Team Europe, but... Shadow Force will guarantee their place in the last 32. Although it's not all doom and gloom for Team Europe because they will get a losing bonus point since Gigas' health was below half. Ooh, that was a good match, wasn't it? Right, on to our next matchup. Alrighty then, in this matchup we see Slifer Sky Dragon X against Lousp. And in the red corner for Slifer Sky Dragon we have an Abelosaurus. Uh, not much to say here. But we have seen what this guy can do, and it could be problematic for Laos to get past. In the blue corner for Laos, we have an Alpha Kentrosaurus. And we've definitely seen what this beast can do. That spike arrows posing a problem, along with that Earth Barrier Light Recovery combo there. Which could be key for Laos if he wants to win this match. Uh, could be an important match this could because the winner here will will put them will give themselves a bit of breathing space between themselves and the bottom two and take into account that the next matchup we'll see Dino nerd against kick green both of whom are are flirting with the bottom two so it could be a crucial matchup this Ooh, the Kentrosaurus getting off the hit, and the light recovery will be coming. But no Earth Barrier, which is a relief, for, which is probably a relief for Cypher Sky Dragon. Ooh, the Abelosaurus getting off a hit. I think Louse doesn't want to be too far behind when his Eoraptor comes in, but that looks like that might be the case. Because the Eoraptor is very fragile, and I, I suspect that Magma Blaster will probably kill it in one hit. Oh. Wow, he, he wants that Magma Blaster! 
But it ain't happening. Louse is having none of it. Ooh, a light recovery there. Louse does take the lead. But no Earth Barrier, which could be costly. Especially since this Avalosaurus is relentlessly trying to get off Magma Blast. But again, the Kentrosaurus says no. And because of Abelosaurus' stubborn stubbornness to get off Magma Blaster, Louth takes an early lead. Up next for Cypher Sky Dragon, we have an Apatosaurus. Again, not much to say here since it has all secret modes, so I'll skip. But yeah, I think this Apatosaurus is lethal type since its crit is a lot stronger than it normally is since Apatosaurus is more balanced. But because it's lethal type, as I said, its crit does 200 more damage. Yeah, some kind of spur soul told me that. Ooh. Ooh, a spike arrow's coming from the Kentrosaurus. Louse been creasing his lead. Wow, like all those spikes missed. And the Apatosaurus is not in a good state. Ooh, but a hit could be just what the Apatosaurus needs to get going. Nope, no secret moves. Oh, no, I think the Apatosaurus is going to die. And I think this might give Louse the 2 0 lead. Yep, that gives Louse the 2 0 lead. And, well, look at this. Out of nowhere, Slifer Sky Dragon X is down to their third diamond. Louse well on top early on so far. And it might be tough for Slifer Sky Dragon to pull this back, but I wouldn't count them out yet because this spiny can pack a punch. <laughs> oh, that's a tie. But the Kendrosaurus is still breathing. Well, not for long. A spiny wastes no time in finishing it off. And that will reduce Louse down to their second dino. That dino being the Eeyore after. Oh, well. What would it be this time? Ooh, a Staracosaurus. I, I think the type advantage does apply with Eeyore after, so... That's not good for Slifer Sky Dragon. And that is definitely a Thunder Driver. So, Louse still on top, but Slifer Sky Dragon, can they pull it back? Well, we'll find out if the type advantage applies now. Oh, maybe not yet. Ooh, a Neptune stream coming from the spiny. Well, granted I don't mess this up, this will do a lot of damage. Okay, I could, there was no way I was going to mess that up. <laughs> Big damage coming Eoraptor's way. Okay, type advantage doesn't apply. And a shockwave there will pretty much guarantee that the Eoraptor will be killed. Okay, so Spiny would be going for scissors. Yep, Eoraptor's fate has been sealed. I mean, I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna go too major because it's gonna kill it. Well it should kill it. Oh no, I messed up. <laughs> but again, it doesn't matter because your raptor's going to die. Wow, all of a sudden. Louse down to their third dino. That dino being the Isosaurus. I said not to count Slifer Sky Dragon out, and I was right. But this beast will be tough to tangle with. Because it does pack a lot of punch. Oh, that'd be a draw. 
Wow, loads of damage done to Vysosaurus. Oop, that's another draw. I think the draw will definitely suit Spiny more. Ooh, but a tie bomb will change that. As the Isosaurus gets off the first hit. And wow, look at that damage. Strong from the Isosaurus there. I feel like a water sword will finish it off. Actually, a Futaba cannon or a water sword. Ooh, but a Neptune stream is coming from Spiny. Big damage coming. Isosaurus is way. There. <laughs> Almost messed it up. Almost messed it up. Well, well, well. I think Cypher Sky Dragon X might win this match. Indeed he will. Oh, it doesn't! Oh, well, actually, yeah, he does win. The shockwave will guarantee the win for Ice for Slifer Sky Dragon. You can't go scissors. You can't go scissors. Okay, it's a paper, it's a tie, but it doesn't matter because Isosaurus is going down. But Laos will get a losing bonus point. Well, a very impressive comeback from Slifer Sky Dragon there. Very impressive, but as I said, Laos will get a losing bonus point, so it's not all doom and gloom. Right, time to update the table, and we'll well, and we'll move on to our final matchup, which could be a big one. Alrighty then, and as for this third matchup, we see Dino Nerd taking on Kit Green, and in the red corner for Dino Nerd, we have a Giganotosaurus. Um, the interesting thing about these two teams is that. They're all dinosaurs of the same element, so we have a team of fire dinosaurs going up against a team of lightning dinosaurs. Um, it's a tough one to call, but I, I think Kit Green will win this match. But just. Anyway, in the blue corner for Kit Green, we have Alpha Chasmosaurus. And well, very original, because it's because it's basic, the moveset is basically the same for all of his dinosaurs, but a very attacking moveset indeed. But yeah, I feel like Kit Green might just edge it. But it wouldn't be a surprise if Dino Nerd won. But let's just hope that RNG cooks us up something cla some classics. Something good, something good. Ooh, the Giga getting off the first hit. And that is a Dino Swing. But again, not too much damage dealt because it's not very compatible with Giga Dino Swing. Oh, another Dino Swing coming from the Giga. A good start from Dino Nerd so far. Yombush. Oh, that's a tie. But I think that'll suit Dino Nerd more. Ooh, that will not though, because that is a lightning strike from the Chasmosaurus. Kit Green finally striking back with their first attack of the match. And it does a significant amount of damage to the Giga. And, and it also triggers that Thunder Driver. But the Giga responds with a Firebomb, which will take out the Chasmosaurus and give Dino Nerd an early lead. Up next for Kit Green's second Dino, we have a Super Taurosaurus. Now, do not underestimate the power of this guy's crit, because it definitely packs a punch. I mean, look at that. Although, without Thunder Driver and Gatling Spark, its other two moves do very little damage. Okay, the Awaken Mode is on three. Okay, can Kit, Kit Green pull this back? Ooh, Dino Nerd weary of that crit there, going for a crit of his own. And, for whatever reason, going scissors, allowing the Taurosaurus to get off a lightning strike, which will KO the Giga. Okay, up next for Dino Nerd, we have an Albertosaurus. 
Um, this guy has a slightly has a better move set than the Giga did. That critical block could come could be crucial here, and blazing spin attack could also do some damage. But yeah, definitely has a better move set than Giga. But will that be enough to stop the Taurosaurus, or will the Taurosaurus charge home? Oh, oh, well, um, um, I think Albertosaurus might actually die here. Like, I'm not joking. Actually, no, it shouldn't die. But it almost dies. Okay, that's once. Well, finally, Dino Nerd learning from the mistakes of not allowing that lightning strike to activate. That's twice. Ooh, another hit from Albertosaurus. But next round, it will be awakening time for Taurosaurus. So I feel like Kit Green still has, still has a slight grip on this match. Ooh, the critical block coming in and a blazing spin attack. But I don't think critical block will be relevant because the Taurosaurus will go down. Kit Green tried a lightning strike, but Dino Nerd was having none of it. Yeah. Big chance missed there by Kit Green. Anyway, as for their third Dino, we have a Super Triceratops. And again, not much to say because it's the bloody same moveset. <laughs> but it doesn't pack the crit power that Taurosaurus had. Well, unless it gets off a Thunder Driver, then it will do some damage. Ooh, the Albertosaurus getting off a hit. And getting off that death grind. Uh, not too much damage dealt. Okay, that's once. Oh, disaster for Kit Green. A critical block coming from Albertosaurus. Which will tighten Dino Nerd's grip on this match even further. That's twice, which means Dino Nerd will be going for his crit, and if he gets it, it will most likely be game over for Kit Green. Ooh, and he is gonna get off a blazing spin. Could this be the? Could this secure a bonus point win for Dino Nerd? It doesn't, and it is awakening time for Triceratops. Oh, it's game over! A bonus point win secured for Dino Nerd. The Albertosaurus impressing. I said it had a better moveset than the, than the Giga, and it proved me right. Wow, very impressed by Dino Nerd there. Albertosaurus looking very strong in that matchup. And that could be a big bonus point win for Dino Nerd. Right, we'll update the table and we'll end the session. Well, look at that all of a sudden. You have Shadow Force guaranteeing their place in the last 32 with 11 points. Because, well, n these, neither of these two is going to catch them. I mean, the, well, in theory, Kit Green, they could get like 10 points. Actually, no, they play each other, so. In theory, one of them could catch them. and then, But yeah, realistically, Shadow Force has guaranteed their place in the last 32. And then... We have Slifer, Sky Dragon, and Dino Nerd level on points there with seven. I mean, I can't really separate these two because they haven't played each other yet. And we have Lauspin fourth on five points, and then we have Kit Green with three and Team Europe with two. So I feel I feel like, well, Shadow Force is going to win the group. I feel like Shadow Force will win Group B. I mean, unless they lose their last two matches, then one of these two could win, or even Laus could win. So one of these three could win Group A, but a win for Shadow Force in their next match will all but guarantee that they win Group B. Who did the Shadow Force play? Ooh, big match for Shadow Force against Kit Green. And then we will have, see, Lausp taking on Team Europe. A good chance for Lausp there. And then another big match between Dino Nerd and Slifer Sky Dragon. So it's still all to play for in group B 
And Group B, like Group A, is looking very tight, except for Shadow Force. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this session. And this is Stranger Gamer signing out.